chronicling a time in someone's life nearly a century ago. When it landed in the hands of a Colorado woman, she was determined to find the family of those pictured inside. And tonight, nearly a year later, Contact Denver 7 is helping reunite the book with the people who now have a part of their family's history. Here is Jason Granauer. There's years of history in here. And this tale begins at the beginning of this year. Her name is Elsie Dean. When Cheryl Nowakowski contacted Denver 7. Here she is. This is her right there. Hoping to find the owner of this amazingly detailed scrapbook. Every single page is packed with history and somebody put a lot of time and effort into everything. Our story went out and caught the attention of Jim Holt. We had some, some swing and misses for sure. He and Cheryl looked online, combed social media. For a few months nothing really happened and then we you got a hold of Debbie. Debbie is a friend that happens to work at Ancestry.com. There were times where we thought we weren't gonna, gonna get close and then I got Debbie on it and she, she found Bruce. Bruce is Bruce Dean, a distant relative of Elsie Dean, the creator of the scrapbook. Well, actually, he's a firefighter in uh, Australia, Queensland, Australia. A week or two in the mail and 8,000 miles later, and this book of someone's history completed another chapter. My great-great-grandfather and Elsie, who book belonged to originally, her grandfather, or great-grandfather were brothers from Advy in Scotland. 11 months after our first story aired. It's arrived yesterday and I'm really looking forward to having a look through it and finding what's, what's inside. Bruce and his family now have the scrapbook just in time for Christmas. It's a very distant relation, but it's found a home. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.